Hey everyone, this is uh, Chad with Good Creative Tutorial. I just wanted to go over, I was looking over my list of Illustrator tutorials and uh, some of the introduction ones I noticed I didn't have anything on warping text and that's one that uh, a lot of my university students ask about so I figured I'd make a short uh, introduction to that. It can be useful in certain contexts for uh, creating different illustrations of vector art. Um, so it's, it, it, the result is a little bit different from the type on a path tool uh, that can be helpful and I have a separate tutorial on that. Um, this one is when you have some text and you just want to distort it and warp it a little bit for a specific look, um, whether it be for an illustration or logo or whatever. So this just example here, you see the original text there in the blue if I hover over it and then you see the effect here. So go ahead and follow along with this. I'll show you a couple of the different ones you can do. It's a pretty fun tool. Go to File New in Adobe Illustrator hit OK and um, go ahead and select the type tool here and just click and let go and we'll type in some text I'm actually literally just going to write in some text and then with the black uh, selection arrow I'm going to click and drag the corner of it to resize it uh, and hold shift if you want to maintain that same proportion that's different if I click and drag out type in some text and then you notice now I'm just changing the text box size. I would have to manually select it and then change the font here, type in something. So that's why I just click and let go and then you can manually and quickly resize it. So once you have some text out here, go ahead and go to Effect, Warp, and there's a bunch of different options here, but if you just choose one of them and click Preview right here, this check, it'll show you what it's gonna do. So it's similar to the type on a path tool, it's a little bit different, but it has the arc, and you can adjust these settings here over to the right, the bend, um, you can situate at different orientations, and then horizontal, as it kind of gets squeezed in on the right, and then if you bring horizontal to the right to 100%, then it gets squeezed in on the left. All right. And then vertical is the same thing, just vertically though. All right, so you can come up with some pretty interesting looks, almost like a long shadow at the end of the day. Um, so arc upper and lower, let me bring this back to the middle a little bit, kind of show you. Um, preview, okay. So arc lower, I mean that could, you can make a Reminds me of like maybe teeth and a cartoon cat or something like from Alice in Wonderland. Um, you can go to arc upper, arch, bulge, shell lower. So you can kind of see the many different ways the text can end up. Uh, like with flag here, if you bring the bend over to the right, it, it makes it even more exaggerated. And if you distort it to the right, then it's a little bit smaller on the left, as you can see. All right. Wave. And you can keep experiment with all these, with each one. Um, there's fish, rise, fish eye. It's kind of a bloated look. Inflate, squeeze, twist. Um, Let's see, really exaggerate this one. So you can come up with some pretty unique looks. All right, and the cool thing about it is you can still select the text if you click and drag over it and type in um, something else. Uh, even after you have applied the effect. All right, and then it keeps that effect in there. Um, so it's a pretty cool uh, look. And you can go in and change still the fill, the stroke, all of that, either down here or in the appearance palette. But So that's the warp tool. It can become pretty handy if you're creating some kind of artistic look in advertisement or flyer or web banner ad or, or whatever, or some kind of logo. Um, so the key is to make a kind of a subtle look, but if you're doing some kind of exaggerated, then that might be relevant uh, as well with some of those uh, warped looks. It can be a pretty fun tool to check out. 
All right, thanks.